Katie, and I'm D. I'm Elizabeth, and I'm C. Megan, and I'm B. <laughs> Austin, D. Callie, A. I almost I like completely forgot. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the last time we have to do this, so. <laughs> it is weird. Um, what's the worst part about everyone had like their own girl? Yeah, oh, my yeah. Oh, my God. My parents had to find Vix and Couch, and I was like, uh, well, yeah. When I first saw <laughs> yours, I was like, did I? Yeah, I know. I can say like, really short one. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. My first question was about defining Vix and Couch, and then my second question was about explaining Vix and Couch. Okay. You really know about Vix and Couch? What? Yeah. It's like, I don't even know how to do this. I know, I had to do the components of it. Yeah, there was a lot of. I was just about instead of you know speaking academic language, it was writing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it was a it was, it was really hard. It was a hard one kids to yeah. do yeah. too. They can they can like use the words, yeah. but then to go and write about them. Is I really think hard. even like native English speaking kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. I'm so I'm working in a sixth grade class right now, and we're teaching about growth mindset. And it's like mm -hmm. they can talk to us about their ideas, and like they're really smart. Mm -hmm. They just understand it. And then we had them write a letter to a student with a fixed mindset. It was yeah, crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I wanted yeah, to be like, I taught you this. Like, yeah. how can uh -huh. you write about this? You were just talking to me about it yeah. five minutes yeah. ago, and That's you can't write about it. Mm -hmm. But it's really weird the difference because we don't think about yeah. how that. different writing is and speaking. Mm -hmm. I thought that same thing with kids. Like, we'll have like I'll ask them about a question and we'll talk about it for like yeah. five minutes. Okay, now like write that down and then like talk about it. And I'm like, what you just shared with me was like perfect. Uh -huh. Like you know, like you used all the terms and then like you can't like yeah. it like doesn't transfer. Yeah. Yeah. In the book, it had you know it talked about simple sentences versus the long sentences, mm -hmm. and so there was like examples of simple sentences, and they were so painful to read. It was just like you know. Happy yeah. and this and that and this and that, and then it finally got to the detailed ones. So I was like, yes, perfect yeah. way to explain yourself, and it was, it's. It was interesting. It did talk a little bit, which I think for me, a lot of the time why I could say things, but then I wouldn't do it because I was so afraid of spelling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was my big one. Mm -hmm. Which it didn't go into as much as I thought it would, but. Yeah, kids get hung up on spelling all the time. And depending on which classroom they came from years prior, some teachers are big sticklers about that still. And some aren't. And some yeah. aren't. And really, it's about, you know, the ideas at first. The mm -hmm. spelling should come at the very end, but then some teachers don't teach that way, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so kids, like, as they're writing, they have to fix like every word. Yeah, or true. like what you just said, they'll just choose words they know how to spell, which makes their writing so much more yeah. simple mm -hmm. and limited. boring. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and limited, and because they know those words, yeah. they just know how to spell them, so they choose not to write them. I feel like that was, like, new when I was younger, like, Spell it, so I'll just write what I know. Oh, and I would write like 10 words to get around. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, I'd be like, okay, how do I say this? Yeah, <laughs> how do I say this word in another way? Like, I'd be like, ah. <laughs> I totally did that. Yeah. I never wanted to miss all words, so I, yeah. I would seriously just write like a full Any other sentence yeah. to like fix mm -hmm. not knowing that. Yeah, word. isn't that funny? Because as an adult, why, you know, yeah. we don't have that problem because yeah. we can find it in a dictionary yeah. or whatever. Well, growing up, I'd always ask my brother, like, how do you spell this word? And he goes, so annoying. He's like, so there's this thing called a thesaurus, okay? Uh -huh. It will tell you every other word and you can figure out how to spell it. I was like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I know how to spell, like, four of these words. Uh -huh. So many options. Uh -huh. My parents got me, like, me and my brothers all got this little the electronic thesaurus. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, really yeah. So and then you could play like, hangman on them and then you would learn all kinds of words. Awesome. <laughs> we thought they were really cool. Well, I don't know what how um, other classrooms are, but like at our building, I don't think there's very many of us that do traditional spelling tests anymore. I don't, because it's mm -hmm. not really, it's pointless. And then what happens too is they learn the words in isolation. Yeah, but not they in go context. to write it. Yeah, but not in context. They go to write it and they're still misspelling it. So we talk about spelling and we do word study and, you know, talk about words, and, but I don't. Tests, yeah. and I think that maybe with, as time goes by, that will help. Because yeah. mm -hmm. we all had, I mean, I had traditional I had so many, like yeah. every week. 
You yeah. Like yeah. You had like your weekly list. Yeah, you had your weekly list. You studied over the weekend. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, yeah. Monday, you take a sewing test. And, and then you get, and then you like would work. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and you're writing in cursive. Oh, they taught us for a period of time. They're like, you know, writing cursive. Yeah, fourth grade too. Yeah, fourth grade we had the cursive challenge, and it was like if you could write in cursive for an entire month. It was like to learn cursive, so you had to write everything in cursive for an entire month. It was like a big cursive party. Oh my gosh. That's so you could choose to do it or not. Yeah. It was kind of your choice. Yeah. You, like, you get a reward for practicing uh-huh. this because you're supposed to know cursive. And they don't, I don't even think they teach cursive anymore, it's, do they? Yeah. No. Like when I was in school, like we learned cursive in third grade, but my teacher ran out of time, so I never learned all of the letters. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, what's that letter? <laughs> well, and that's the thing, like, some, I still have to, I don't teach it. They kind of learn it in third grade, and then they have a practice book that they can practice. But I talk about how you have to be able to read it, because yeah. even if you don't ever write it, there's yeah, so many things it. that you have to be able to read in cursive, and yeah. history, and yeah. just yeah. throughout life, mm-hmm. you know? So like, most of the time, I can, like, decode what it is. Yeah. yeah. My grandma writes in cursive, my but like, my grandma, I can figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, but like, these kids are like, what letter is that? Like, Q. It's yeah. It's a really weird one. Yeah. 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 Well, and then, like, on the AC, like, yeah. SAT or whatever, it's required to write in cursive. Yeah, and I know yeah. a lot of the kids, like, I was like, yeah, my parents made sure I knew it. But there's a lot of kids that are like, um, can you write this letter on the board? It was like an A. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, a lot of them, they're so much to write the yeah. SATs in cursive. You have to do it like this. Sentence. There's, like, a first little sentence. It's like, I will not cheat. Yeah. 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 It's just like a sense. Yeah, and I don't know why. But yeah, I don't know. but then a lot of the kids were really slow. You know, yeah. anybody's slow when they start. Yeah. Yeah. And I the proctor gets so annoyed. And I was terrible. Yeah. 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 The yeah. proctor would be like, "You guys need to hurry up!" And a lot of kids are like, "We didn't learn. We didn't learn. Yeah. You're requiring it like yeah. on a test that's already required. Like it's tough. It's bizarre. <laughs> yeah. What is the point of it? Yeah. What's the point of writing it? just talking about using reference tools which really I don't think people teach anymore because kids don't even know how to find a word in a dictionary by the time they get to fourth grade but I had never thought about some of these things because I don't know I guess I just have thought about like the some of the things that they said to teach was like even reading the definition read the whole thing and don't oh, just read yeah, the, the first, first one yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But growing up, you kind of do only think there's one uh-huh. definition yeah. for every word. Because mm-hmm. in a spelling test, that's what you learn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is what this word means, and you better spell yeah. it right. Yeah. What would happen to you guys if you didn't pass? I don't even remember what would happen. Because I, I, know, know, I never. Um, you I just failed. Like, <laughs> right. Couldn't tell you. I, I, so, I yeah. think for I remember one class like if you got one wrong or whatever ones you got wrong. You had to write them like ten times in a row or something. Yes, That's you had to like hard. write it. Yeah, like a bunch of times. Yeah, to like get it into your brain. But, but even then, it was like scary to fail. Like obviously, you don't have to grade them, but they're like, don't fail them. Yeah, yeah. like fall. Yeah, yeah. Are, and I was like, mom, I got one wrong. I can remember, remember now the one word I can never spell was handkerchief. Oh, because oh. there's like a, a D in there. Because it's handkerchief. Yeah. 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 See, and so the other thing about spelling tests is like sight words, okay, you have to memorize them because mm-hmm. and could and should and would, like yeah. you can't yes. use any sort of yeah. pattern or anything. But words like handkerchief, what is the point of memorizing? Oh. Yeah, I word? don't know. You know? When you're it's at a so party and you're like, hey, can I have your handkerchief? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you need to spell that for you? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, why? And if you teach kids word study, then they can think about, like, oh, yeah, the first part is hand, because I use my hand, Uh and then, you know, whatever the last Uh part. So teaching, like, the parts of words and where they come from and what they mean Uh is way more effective than memorized handkerchief, which you never could do. Yeah. So what was the point of it? Yeah. I remember I was, like, super good at spelling, and that was always the one word. And I'm sure you use that word in your writing all the time. All the time. I use it daily. (laughs) (laughs) I text my friends about handkerchiefs all the time now. Um, so, you know, together to get her? Yeah, that's what my second grade teacher is. Yeah, to get her. To be honest? I have never heard that. I've never heard that. It's like just now. Yeah, that's how I learned it. It's been the longest time. She told us that, right? And so everyone would do to, space, get, space, her. And she's like, all right, guys. 
you guys are really good about explaining it. All one word. Let's bring it all again. <laughs> like that was our theme for the whole. Uh, my like, mind is blown right now because I never, I never realized that it never together. Was like even even every once in a while, I'll be like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah I, it it's never goes to like friends and spry ends. That's how I always teach. <laughs> teach my kids how to spell friends. Fry ends. It doesn't sound like fry. Yeah, ends. Whenever I have I, 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 I always think out what it is. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy how you remember like how you yeah. remember. Mm -hmm. The kids do that though all the time. Just today, they're they're typing their realistic fiction. This kid called me over and he said, "How do you spell a miracle?" I was like, Ugh. I had to think for a minute, and he already had a. Uh -oh. He really needed a to miracle. know how to spell miracle, yeah. but he thought a miracle was all one word. Uh -huh. <laughs> and kids, that happens all the time. Yeah. They like heard it in their brain. They like say it one way. Yeah. And then and that's not really a word. Yeah. That's so funny. funny. Or Great Wolf Lodge. This was one of my favorite ones. The girl <laughs> asked me, how do you spell, she called me home, this was years ago, how do you spell flodge? <laughs> <laughs> lodge? What do you mean? I'm looking at him like, well, what are you trying to write? Great Wolf Lodge. So she thought flodge. it was Great Wolf Flodge. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That's that's pretty pretty good. Can you imagine the ELL kids? Like, it yeah, was like, all the yeah. 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 Where the fuck is you can you see that at? Yeah. <laughs> and we talk so fast. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Really, they get all together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was really cute. And then when you like, it, when you tell them the correct thing, it's like they have this epiphany. Because yeah, yeah. their whole life they say it's one <laughs> way. That's how we play. Like, oh, oh. Well, you know, like, she get hers. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh my god. I'll never funny. forget it. Or like beautiful. You always like be beautiful. For me, so sure. Oh, yes. <laughs> there was something else in here I had to write about that I didn't really know. I think it was where the words, oh. How like the you can divide English into two categories. So like the everyday words are all Anglo-Saxon origins, and then the academic words are mostly Latin and Greek origins. That's interesting. Yeah, which I didn't really realize, but that makes sense. And when you think about all the academic words, that's part of the reason they're so confusing. Yeah, like all different roots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the Latin roots. And we, you know, by fourth grade, like in our standards, it says. That you have to teach certain Latin roots, and you first hear that, and it's like, what? How am I supposed to teach Latin roots? And it's like, you're not telling them this is a yeah. Latin root. Yeah. You're yeah. just saying this is the part of the word, and this is what it means. Yeah. And anytime you see this, it means the same thing. Which I feel like would definitely be like hard to understand as an ELL. Like, uh, like, like this is yeah, like, like, so yeah, I like, speak Spanish, and I have to learn Latin and English. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? Sure. I feel like learning English would be like really hard because so many of our words do pull from like other languages. Yeah. Whereas like Spanish, it's like okay, this is a Spanish word. But yeah. English, it's like well, this is a Latin word mixed with a Greek word, yeah. and now it's an English word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, <laughs> like why can I just get from a Spanish word? <laughs> yeah. Well, like you guys said earlier, even English speaking yeah. students, they yeah. Have, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. especially depending on what they're conversations are like in their homes because some conversations are a lot it's kind of like that video so oh, yeah, you're the capital. yeah the capital if your parents are highly educated and have jobs that are you know have to do with education yeah. or they read a lot the conversation in your house different. is yeah. a lot different than other people's conversations mm -hmm. so they come in even with different conversational oh, yeah. language like gonna uh -huh. and some yeah. of those yeah. words that they y'all y'all that are just normal everyday conversations yeah. that was like, they came out in like fifth grade because they're like what's y'all and I'm like um <laughs> I don't I don't know they're like well you said I'm like well I mean you you you're y'all it was so hard I was really did you hard. not really even know what it no, meant like my yeah. family's always said that and so I'm just like well y'all I mean and they're like you don't say that right and I'm like they're gonna be like, what's it mean? I'm like, I don't know, but apparently I don't say it right. Well, because nobody says, you all. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And they're like, oh, that's such a country thing. I'm like, I'm from Washington. Like, yeah. slow I down. I say y'all all the time. Yeah. I'm like, what's it y'all? Like, da da da. And then people are like, are you from the South? I'm like, no. Mm -hmm. Or <laughs> the one. I don't feel like that's that weird thing to say. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. But also, my freshman roommate was from Texas. That's what we have. Uh, so, so, that kind of. I totally picked it. Freshman yeah. year, I said it all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My roommate right now gets on me because it's 
bag for that same bag. Oh, my husband makes one of those. I was, say bag. I hate going to stores right now. I'm like, gonna be really so honest. Sure. And then, and then I, I forget. can't hear the difference. Okay, I so, say yeah, we learned about the smiling voices class that some people can't hear the difference. I, I can't, can't tell. tell. People mm-hmm. say it, and I'm like, yeah, you just said the same word, bag, the exact same way. Bag. The bag worst part or bag. The, the worst part is I'll say it, and then she'll be like, wait, what's the actual word? And I can't remember the way I said it. I don't. Yeah. I can never remember which is the correct way, and so then I'm like, um, stupid. <laughs> Because yeah. it should be bag, yeah, right? But then, I, but then bag doesn't down. sound incorrect. But then do bagels, are they supposed to be bagels? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I'm going to, I'm taking that one. Maybe they are supposed to be bagels, but nobody really? says bagels. Like, nobody cool. says that. Yeah. Well, my husband yeah. makes fun of me for this, but he's from New York, and so his way of talking certain yeah. words is, like, completely different yeah. than anything yeah. over here. <laughs> he did not make fun of me for saying yeah. bag, bag, whatever I say. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't say bag. Yeah. I don't know what I say. Oh, well, then, funny. But then at one point she said bag, and I was like, ew, it doesn't say bag. You sound like you're begging for something. And she's like, that's what you say. And I had a whole trip in this year. So now I'm getting it right. So you say bag? Bag-ish. Bag. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so lost on this conversation. You guys are going to say the same word over My teacher is the, um, the one example that she, that Jennifer used, I think she said it, Minnesota. They so the, yeah. the word Dawn, like the or the name Dawn, D A W N, and then there's D O N. They say it different. Oh, yeah. But okay. we just say Dawn. She says I can't even do it. She say Dawn. 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 Yeah. Dawn. If they draw out the W. What's like how is it Dawn? Dawn. 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 I was really confused all quarter because I thought it was Dawn, D A W N, and then I looked at it at the end of the quarter and it was like. Oh, like was before the A. Oh. Yeah. It's D W A N. Oh, that's funny. Oh, weird. <laughs> but yeah, when so that one I can't hear the But then I went asked her. I was like, "Hey, this is really frustrating me. You said the same word like fifty million times. What's the problem?" And she's like, "One for us would be like D A W N, and then one is D O N." Yeah. I was like, "Oh, like Dawn," and she's like, "Or Dawn." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I can't have it the same. Yeah, I know. She Dawn. Says it. I don't know, for that, like, for words like that, I have to, like, see the word in my head uh-huh. as I say it so that I can physically understand it, whether you, people understand it or not. I get it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is a pronunciation of Don, D-O-N. We're going to see if this is doing it. Hold on. Okay. So it went fast. Um, yeah. Okay. And then we'll look up the other one. Don't the same yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's like a dialect. Don't. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, but I also it. wonder if so like other cultures you like you develop different sounds yeah. and yeah. you're able to hear different sounds, like my aunt lives in Thailand and you can like say swati ka or like swati ka and it like means like two different things. Yeah. Um so I wonder if people from different cultures like are able to hear the differences in our language. Better than we are. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Because they. Because they. But then at the same time, if she said that word really fast, would you know the difference? Like if you were learning the word? Probably. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Like paying attention. Yeah. Or maybe it would depend on what your first language was, because if it was a language like Thai that had those super tiny Small changes, that's you would probably notice like, it more. Is it those similar those than like Spanish. Yeah. Those languages like have like little differences in their words that they like tone notice on, they, so tone tone yeah, on, they, like, on their everyday language that they have to use, and we don't use a tonal language like that, so I wonder if they would notice those things in our language, because we don't it notice It might them. confuse them even more, because yeah, they think it was two different words. Yeah. yeah. Or if you were migrant and you're like moving all around, I wonder what like 
teachers in Washington sound like compared to teachers in California. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're, they've had a different, I mean, the people in California are like, they sound yeah. pretty much the same. So yeah. Like if you went like Washington to like South. Yeah, you'd, you'd have like, to go across the country. Yeah, yeah like, yeah. or to whatever they were doing there else. Which I don't think we would migrate that much across the country. We would have it down the yeah. coast. Oh. So it's like, across. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cognates is another thing I learned about in a class, in a linguistics class. Yeah, yeah, you even did. And when I first learned about it in that class, I was like, cognates, that is a very helpful tool. Mm -hmm. Because there's so many of them, especially between Spanish and English. But then, like, the one with all the cognates, yeah, it's like, mm -hmm. gets a And I remember one that said it in here, that, that if teachers can use cognates to help their Spanish-speaking students, it can be such a huge, like, a tremendous tool because mm -hmm. it might be an everyday word to them. Yeah. And then to us, it's like this fancy academic yeah. language yeah. word, but really, yeah, yeah they yeah. already they use yeah. it all the time, yeah. and then they can really help bridge their, mm -hmm. you know, language to their own language, which I thought was interesting. And we, you know, we have this view of English as being the best, and here's Spanish using terms in their everyday language mm -hmm. that we consider like, like, they have to like, like you're educated yeah. if you know how to use these yeah. words. Yeah. You know? It's kind of like Kelly and ours before, like we did like the bricks and mortar oh, like, yeah, like, words. Yeah, and how like, like oh bricks the bricks and mortar words. words. Yeah, like, yeah. I thought that was like interesting. Like the bricks are like the like you know specific uh, mm -hmm. and the content specific mm -hmm. words. The mortar are like the like, connecting. connecting. Oh, I thought that was really interesting to think about, like, you need those connecting in order to, like, understand the concept. Mm -hmm. They, like, help support mm -hmm. your bricks. Yeah. Like, well, you can't, like, you can just put stacks of bricks on your wall's going to fall down. down. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, come on. <laughs> this is cheesy, but it is really, again, like, an analogy. Yeah. Oh, my God, I like that it was making a definition within um, academic language, not necessarily like social language to like comparing social language with academic language, but it was further separating out academic language, like yeah. understand exactly what makes up our academic language, that it's not just content specific like mm -hmm. big words, but that you have to have supporting words mm -hmm. to be able to speak academically. Like some of the like, the, like connecting words since I've like known the academic language, like it didn't like I was like, oh I didn't realize like, you know, I didn't realize that that was academic language that I was using. Yeah. <laughs> but it like is. Yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting. Yeah, because and there was that one question we had to like answer being when they were when they've ever been taught. Yeah. Yeah, that was interesting. That was hard. Mm -hmm. Cause like you were talking about like the picture dictionary. Yeah. And like yeah. after I read that, I was like, I totally did that every chapter in creative biology in high school. Oh, but, like wow. every chapter, like our teacher would have a set of terms and we'd have to like make up our own definition and draw a picture. Mm -hmm. And like I still have all of mine. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and you probably like, remember a lot of mine. And like yeah. I scrapbooked it and like colored mm -hmm. it and like mm -hmm. it was like a great one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I I mean I think probably all of us grew up in, you know, homes where, like, we already had a lot of that academic language, so it's not, I don't really remember, except for that one teacher being taught it, but somehow I acquired it, you know? Yeah. Which is weird. I just remember in, like, my math classes, I, like, not a lot of my teachers took the time to, like, really teach that, because I feel like they were so focused on the other aspect of it. Yeah. Like the operation. Yeah. 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 My high school math teachers definitely did not focus on definitions they mm -hmm. focused on content but it's like also because mm -hmm. I'm a math major yeah it's like math makes so much more sense when you sp spend time learning the mm -hmm. definitions of words mm -hmm. it's just like all the other subjects that you hear because like you hear yeah. linear line right yeah math students in ninth tenth grade algebra they learn about linear lines mm -hmm. and they oh yeah that's linear it's straight but like but what, what is but it? the students yeah. are confused about it it's like well what is the definition of linear mm -hmm. right it means goes up in yeah. a steady pattern. Mm -hmm. So which of like a, a, the parabola or a straight line, which one is a steady pattern? Yeah. Maybe that's why math is so difficult. Yeah. For people. Like I yeah. have had a really hard time with it. 
but like in, I had a statistics class my senior year, <laughs> and I did well in that because there were a lot of definitions and we actually mm -hmm. did go over them. Yeah. So that's interesting. Yeah, and so I feel like there's a lot of words that kind of mean the same thing too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like you know, in fourth grade right now we're doing multiplication and we're talking about array and area mm -hmm. and dimensions and product and like they all are kind of the same yeah. thing but then they all mean something slightly like, different mm -hmm. so yeah. that's if you don't teach that it's how are you gonna yeah it's hard yeah. to keep track of all and those that like terms. again comes from like the catheter i feel like in the homework like my dad's a high school math teacher so like if i didn't get it in the classroom like i could just go home and he would be like you didn't get it you know that sort yeah. of thing mm -hmm. but then students don't have don't, that yeah that's why yeah. i'm saying like mm -hmm. it comes from the capital yeah like, yeah but, like you know like if the parents went to college and they still remember that like mm -hmm. they can help them yeah. and math especially because it's changed so much mm -hmm. and so even in fourth grade there's times the parents will say i can't help them with yeah. homework i don't yeah. know what they're doing yeah. you know like, it's not the like rote memorization stuff well it's not like that the math has changed it's at all no, it's just the way that it's taught has changed mm -hmm. so much but they don't really understand can. parents don't really understand that because mm -hmm. parents were taught math now, well, being taught math in really weird, strange ways mm -hmm. that don't make any sense. Yeah. Like, I just feel like math now is like they try to make it written. Like, yeah. Write out a sentence. It's like, well, like, why would I not? Why would I write out a sentence for like? Well, I had two apples, but then I got two more apples, so yeah. I had four apples. Well, why wouldn't I just write two plus two equals four? Yeah. Like math that's is what math is. Visual. Yeah. Um, last year when I was with Campus Campus with Nate Alderwood. We were helping them. It was a homework club, but it was primarily focused on math. And so all of us were helping. And then about two weeks later, they're like, we want to get you guys together. Just so you guys know, like, what you guys have been teaching these kids is totally inappropriate. Like, that's not the math program we have here. Like, this is, like, they essentially just sit there and yell at us. And we're like, hey, excuse us, but first of all, you didn't tell us you had a certain way of doing the math. Yeah. In the end, the answer was correct. We're sorry we didn't do it your way. And also, how do you expect us to help these students if you yeah. don't teach us that? Like. What are we supposed yeah. to do? Assume? Like, you give us five minutes with these kids, we can't sit there and read the whole thing, go through mm -hmm. all of the books and learn it, mm -hmm. and then expect to do it. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It's just really frustrating. Yeah. To have to, and even then, it was completely different. I couldn't understand that. They're like, you don't have them. Like, so reading? Uh -huh. Do you want me to <laughs> so reading? That's, that's well, pretty much the thing. thing about math that's so tricky is people take the curriculum to the greatest extreme. And to be honest, yes. I do think the way they're teaching math now, at least at the elementary school, is way better because they can understand the concept. So like you yeah. said, you know, the whole writing of a sentence thing is like its own problem. Yeah, but it's for like, like I writing. talk to my students like, all the time about so two visual. plus two equals four. Yeah. They're not just numbers on the yeah. page. No. They are tied to apples yeah. or whatever yeah. the thing is. But like what my teachers did was it was like you would bring in like objects, right? So you would have like, okay, you have two hair scrunchies, and then we add two more hair scrunchies. How many are there? And then you can sit there and count them. Mm -hmm. Right. But then it's like once they like start making right in sentences and paragraphs, and we have like, all, like integrated math yeah. through high school, which was completely word based. And it was like I don't and understand how you can have a word based, yeah, like sentence based math class. No, like and math when you were in high school, it was probably when yeah on the um, what was the whatever the test was like three times ago because they changed things. Yeah, I was time. still the wassail. And it, the wassail, mm -hmm. and that's what it was. We were yeah. like teaching our students was how to write so a paragraph stupid. on that test. And then they went the complete yeah. other way for a couple of years and said, yeah. no, they don't need to explain their thinking at all. Like you have to be able to explain your thinking. And now they kind of like you should be able to show like yeah. your math. Yeah. Like yeah. math is essentially show your work. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Like when I was taking the wassail, it was so based in just explain what you're doing. Like it doesn't really matter if you get the right answer if you can explain what you did. It's like, well, that's not a very good way to teach math because, because you're math. essentially yeah. just teaching them how to write sentences and not do math. Mm -hmm. That's like, um, and the way they were doing it, they didn't want it. You know how you do you do multiplication like 25. You do the times and then you put whatever it is and yeah. you do the length. They wanted it completely straight across. And so we're trying to show them how to like. Oh. Say you multiply x twenty five like put five carry the two right? How do you show that when it's like that? They're like, no, we don't want them learning like that. And it's like I don't know how like that. I don't know how to do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it was super hard. And I'm like, well, like, I'm just where would, would you put? I didn't know where to put it. I'm like, yeah. I I gotta go do this on a separate piece of paper so I know the answer. Yes. 
Yeah, it's not hard. Really they don't it. learn borrow like the whole borrow carry and multiplication no. model until they learn what they're doing. Same with addition and subtraction. Like how are you supposed to figure out what you're doing and then you learn do it you a new area. So that's what that's how they learn multiplication. So you talk because it's hmm. really you're multiplying the yeah. dimensions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think you talk great. about making a frame, you know, you have your 15 on this side and your 12 on this side and what's in the middle. Yeah. yeah. And I don't, writing it one way or the other doesn't matter what the strategy is. Yeah. It's kind of mm -hmm. silly. You could stack it or write it this way. Mm -hmm. It yeah. doesn't really matter. But that's what, that's like what we teach them. And I don't know when they actually learn the whole stacking thing because we do partial products. So instead of like carrying the one, you write down each of the four answers that you come up with. Oh, and then then add them up. Really which is for multiplication is a little easier, I think, to keep track of because you like borrow once, and if you're doing double times double, then you have to borrow yeah. again, and mm -hmm. that gets really confusing for yeah. kids. But um, but parents, I mean, they have a really hard time with that because yeah. it's the same. And like this kid just recently was like, "Well, my grandma says everyone should learn how to do it this way. <laughs> well, eventually you will learn how to do it that way. Yeah. But here's yeah. an array, and you don't know where to put the numbers because you have no idea how it connects to something in real life. You know, yeah. it's not just numbers on a page that you." Yeah. All some mm -hmm. stuff, series of steps, you know. No, and you can't just sit there and explain your thinking and like get the problem right. Like that doesn't. No. Yeah, no. it's like you have to like find a balance. Yeah. Yeah. And then the words, like we were mm -hmm. sorry, this whole thing kind of do it because like they don't even know what product is. Yeah. It's like, well, that's what you're well, finding. Yeah. And I feel <laughs> that's like the that's answer. the answer. <laughs> yeah. I feel like in a lot of these tests, like since there's so many different words for like one thing, they get marked down a lot because they're using the wrong word. And if we just step back and say, they understand everything just because they use different words. Probably because I didn't know how to spell that word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like they're using all these different words, but in the end, they are correct. They have the main idea just because there's two words off that literally mean the same thing. Yeah. Like why are we stepping them back two grades or whatever? Yeah. We had a we got a list. Um, I feel like I don't even know where I put it, but a list of like. It was things that come up on tests. So, like, analyze, you know, it will be in the directions. And then it was this list of all the other things that could mean analyze. Mm -hmm. And, huh. you know, it was kind of a way, like, a, a thing that you could use to teach your students, like, test prep. Because in the directions, there's all those different words. And there could be analyze, or there could be, you know, dissect, or all these different words that mean the same thing. And, like you're saying, they have to answer using those words, but they also have to, like, Read and know what the question is even asking. It's always super high. Like, what does analyze mean? You know, it's hard to teach. Yeah. So even if yeah. I had to talk about analyzing, like, what does it's that like, even really mean? Yeah. Like, can we look at it closely? <laughs> no, I have to describe analyze right now. I don't. Yeah. yeah. And then that's the words that they're throwing, you know, on yeah. the us back in the spring. It's like, whoa, we didn't really like. That's not how I phrase things in the classroom, really. Yeah. yeah. So one thing my teachers always did was like to help with that, it was like they would word questions like in their own way and then they would be like other ways we you could ask the same question and then they would put more like formal test like type questions. So that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's the same yeah. answer. Yeah. 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 It's the same answer, but like and it's like the exact same question, just asked with like different so it'd be like the question would be like find the answer, right? Mm -hmm. And then it would be Solve this problem, or like just like, like different things like that. Yeah. yeah, solve the equation and like things like that. So it's, you can see, yeah. oh, okay, if I see find the answer or solve the equation, mm -hmm. I'm still going to be the same thing. thing. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a good. Because when you when you yeah. do see <laughs> when you do see like solve the problem, you do think in your mind find the answer. Yeah. yeah. But if you but because you know that now, exactly. but like if you're in didn't know that. third fourth grade mm -hmm. taking yeah. the like, and you get to that test, and you've never seen analyze this. You, you don't know, yeah, what, don't know what that is. The one that always that throws so them like, off. You know, you probably say like, explain your thinking. Yeah. And then you say like, analyze, and it's like, okay, sure, well, I mean, that kind of means the same thing. Mm -hmm. But if they like see them next to each other and know that they mean the same thing, then when they get to the test, and they say. Yeah, because yeah. on the test, if they see that stuff, they like won't even try because yeah. they don't. Just yeah. what equations are. Yeah, the in the English language arts stuff, the ones that throw them off are they always refer to the selection, which is just oh, the things they're reading, reading. Yeah. Yeah. or the passage. The passage is a little easier, but selection yeah, they like, throw out yeah. there all the time. Like, yeah, in the selection, what yeah. was? Yeah, I always remember like, that being really yeah. weird. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand why they have to make it so formal. I know. I don't either. Like, what third graders like? Oh, so when I wrote this selection. 
That's like my teacher gives you a election to read tonight. Like, oh, Lord. Oh, oh, even just the word article is yeah. better, but still, oh, some kids yeah. are like, what is an article? Yeah. 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 I remember in my Compass to Campus, the, the kids were preparing, like, the teacher had a practice one, and he was like, okay, you need to pay very close attention because this is how the words are going to, you know? Yeah. And so, like, we're going through what each of the words meant. What am I supposed to look at? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Yeah. Well, some people don't that. even realize there are directions. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. like, the layout of the test can throw them off, too, yeah. because they'll just jump right into mm -hmm. the questions or the thing they're supposed to read, and mm -hmm. then they're like, wait, what it's am I supposed not. to do? Yeah, or they're just, like, mindlessly I'm reading like something. Years, I would never read the passages. I would just, like, oh, yeah, I'll yeah. look at the answer. And like, I'll look at the question. question and then oh, but that's such it. a good test saving yeah. strategy. Yeah. Like, I teach them that every year because why are you going to read that entire thing and you, when you need, need to know like, this one little sentence? Yeah, all the information all my aid is from like one paragraph. Yeah, and then you have to go back and read yeah. the whole thing. Even yeah. on the AP test, people were talking about it afterwards, and I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, that's, that's the passage. I'm like, oh, that's good to know. <laughs> no, yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> well, and that just is such a good, it proves how stupid the tests test really yeah. are. Yeah. Especially because the tests they give you a certain amount of time, but think of a third grader trying to read not only the dark directions, but then the actual passage, and then freaking out about the fact that they don't know what, what the, the passage, passage is, well, the, or what it's asking. They don't know the question is asking yeah. them, like, and I just read this, and I understand it, but like now I don't even understand mm -hmm. what the question yeah. asking, yeah. so I'm going to get the question wrong. And, and then I'd always have to go reread it. That yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Three yeah. Times, five times. Mm -hmm. One, and like, so what they had to do last year, there was three nonfiction articles page long. Oh. The directions, and that's on one side of the screen, and then the directions are on the other oh, side of the screen. screen. Yeah, and the directions, literally, like, before you even got to the first question, and we have these big screens now, the whole screen was directions. And you have, like, silly. <laughs> yeah, they're huge. <laughs> so, a page of directions, then, like, okay, go read these three articles, and then, like, the questions are at the bottom. It was, oh my God. Are you scrolling. Kidding? Yeah, I mean, a third, third grader is doing for... this. Yeah. So easy to get lost. I would, it would take me like 20 minutes to read the instructions. Right. Like, they're good, they're like, they don't even read the directions. No, no it would take forever. Yeah. And yeah. if you're a struggling reader yeah. or an ELL yeah. student, yeah. like, yeah. like, like what do you know? I'm ready to read Yeah. Just give up. Yeah. I like, in our science class, like, some of the questions I'm learning uh -huh. so weird. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be answering. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. It's like frustrating for me. And yeah. then it's like, okay, I, I can explain this to you, like, totally what we're doing. Like, yeah, and then you, I don't, you know, it's hard to know, are they doing this to, like, try to trick them, or is this really what kids should be able to answer? Because yeah. yeah. if that's what they should be able to answer some of it, then I am not doing my job. Yeah. And but then also, if they're trying to trick them, why? Yeah. Why are they trying to get harder? They're harmless little children, like, you should be like, well, <laughs> no, this one, at least 50% should get this wrong, and that shows that, you know, no. Well, and then really it's like falls back on us. If they're trying to trick the kids, but then it's all about how we didn't do our job right, you know? Well, I remember last year, I think I already said this to you guys, I told the kids that like the pay might be tied to the test scores. And they're like, what? Yeah. My test determines whether or not you get paid. Yeah. What's, you know, what's the point of the test? You're testing the kid, or are you testing the teaching, or like what are you yeah. testing? And then also, why are you testing? Like, yeah. just stop that in general. Yeah. You can right. be tracked by the state yeah. too. Like I don't mm -hmm. understand. We have those in King files. So yeah, every year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't. They spend so much money on it. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know how much, but the state spends a lot of money. Less money, I guess, now because it's on the computer. The paper pencil is more so expensive. So much money. It's so like, like <laughs> it's a lot. No more fine computers. Yeah. Yeah. Like then, what happens in schools where they don't have computers? And Oh, well, they had to all, like, scramble at the last minute. Like, my sister's district, um, Snohomish, they didn't have... Hey! Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Um, Sunnycrest is the elementary that she was at. Sunnycrest? In the Snohomish school district? Oh, wait, no. She lives in Snohomish, sorry. It's a Lake Stevens. Oh, I was saying <laughs> yeah. that. That's not <laughs> like, each other. No. <laughs> no, so. Okay. But they didn't have... It's a huge elementary. They have, like, five classes per grade. They don't have a computer lab. They don't have computers in their classroom. She had one teacher computer. So then, you know, this and Common then, Core test is going to roll yeah, out. And test, yeah. what do you do? They yeah. had those. They all bought, they got a bunch of Chromebooks, like, at the last minute. 
I think <laughs> some of it they got a grant for, and then, you know, each like class. If like the state is going, carts. if like the government is going to say you have to take these tests on the computer, like Should provide computers. Yeah, yeah. And so not just at the last minute, at the beginning of the school year. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that our kids might not even like, use a computer. Yeah. 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 Well, it, I mean, it was at the beginning of the school year, but this test had been rolling out for four years. Yeah. You know, yeah. you were supposed to like phase in and like. Uh -huh. You could opt in to take one part of it, and but they didn't have computers, so they couldn't until the year you had to take it, and then they finally had computers. Yeah. Like out in Mixed like we are working with the kids, like with the Chromebooks, like okay, this is how you turn it on, like this is how you log in, like and, if you and like how you never use the computer, and then all of a sudden you have to take a test, like a high, a high stakes test mm -hmm. on a computer. Yeah. But your teacher's life is now. <laughs> yeah. Dependent yeah. on like, obviously, is a test stressful, but then you're like stressed about this whole new technology. And I feel like yeah. that even and like kids have seen computers, no. they know computers yeah. are, but like yeah. they have to but, get comfortable. You know? Yeah, but like typing and yeah. being able to like even yeah. this little mouse thing is <laughs> annoying. Yeah, yeah. But it's like for a fourth grader, like that would be really hard to use, especially if you like accidentally. You don't have motor skills. You know, they don't know the difference between minimize and log out. Mm -hmm. and they So at least they can't do that. Okay. So it's like locked in. Yeah. Did you see yeah. the yeah. whole computer literacy part? It just yeah. Adds up yeah. To another. I remember when I was like the pilot group. Like I said, like I gotta check my answers, and like we had to take the math one, and like they didn't tell us like where I could find all the symbols to put into my equations. Oh, and I was yeah. like, oh, I'm sitting there, and my teacher can't help me, and I'm like scrolling around. <laughs> yeah, it was like an <laughs> equation <laughs> maker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I'm just like trying oh. to find symbols. Well, I think that's, I mean, you like you said, the state should provide it. So, like, one yeah. thing the state was trying to do, and they still are probably going to, is they want to take, pool all the levy money in the whole state together. So, like, our community would pa our community passes levies every single time. But they want to pool it all together and distribute it evenly amongst the entire state. So, um, I like, think... Uh, like a one-time thing to, like, get everybody... No, like every oh, the time, and then but then it's like nobody's gonna pass levies if that's what you do. It's pointless. Yeah. Like Bellingham will stop passing levies if the money doesn't go to the local schools. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're the people so any of their taxes. Yeah, they're having struggles. Yeah, struggles yeah. Pass levies every time. Like they're mm -hmm. definitely not doing it now. Right. Yeah. So then districts like that would benefit from districts like ours yeah. because we pass levies here. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think part of it is districts like Nooksack are never going to pass levies because they are out in the rural yeah. community and their people don't want to pass it and then they're never going to have what they yeah. need. The state could just give provide. them more money or provide, you know, technology or whatever, but this is like their way around it is to get the levy money from somewhere else. So it just, you know, if that passed, it's like a disaster waiting to happen. Like, I don't know what the fallout would be. <laughs> There's going to be no money coming from anywhere. Yeah, no. because like our like, at home, like we like, just passed one, and like everyone is like in the school district is so excited, like to like finally expand because of like all the overcrowding. Mm -hmm. But like, it's like that money isn't yeah. going to the locals. Like yeah, they're gonna be like, like, why am I paying? Right, <laughs> right. And then they won't want to pass any levies. Yeah. So or like you know places where there's just super high poverty because they live out in the middle of nowhere, and like they can't pass levies because they can't. How are they gonna pay yeah. more money? Yeah. They don't even, can't even afford it. <laughs> No, and the state already, you know, is in trouble because they don't fund basic education. So, it's, yeah, it's frustrating. Yeah, we're at 44. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I'm good. That was a good ending spot. <laughs>